This is Mrs. Appiah with Lesson 10, Operations with Numbers in Scientific Notation. This is from Grade 8, Module 1. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students practice operations with numbers expressed in scientific notation and standard notation. Our essential question is, when performing operations of numbers in exponential form, what is the main difference between addition and subtraction and multiplication division? Example 1. The world population is about 7 billion. There are 4.6 times 10 to the 7th ants for every human on the planet. About how many ants are there in the world? In order to answer this question, what we want to do is we want to multiply the number of ants times the number of humans. The number of ants is given as 4.6 times 10 to the 7th power, which is scientific notation. The number of humans is 7 billion. So 7 billion is 7 with 9 zeros. And we want to write that in scientific notation as well. So we put the decimal after the leading digit, 7 times 10 to the then you want to determine your exponent by counting the number of place values your decimal moves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if we multiply the number of ants times the number of humans, it will give us the total number of ants in the world. Using any order, any grouping, we can change the order of this problem. We can group our decimals together, 4.6 times 7, and we can group our exponents and bases together, 10, point, 10 to the 7th times 10 to the 9th. Here, when you multiply 4.6 times 7, you get 32.2. And here, you use the product of powers rule, which says that if you're multiplying and you have the same base, you simply add the exponents. So that gives us 32.2 times 10 to the 16th power. If we want to answer that in scientific notation, this number is not a decimal that is greater than or equal to 1 or less than 10. So we need to take the 32.2 and write it in scientific notation. Move your decimal so that it is after the leading digit. So we have 3.2 times 10 to the... Your exponent is how many places you moved it. We moved it one place. Now we multiply that times 10 to the 16th. Here, use the product of powers rule, and that gives us 3.2 times 10, 3.22 times 10 to the 17th power. There are about 3.22 times 10 to the 17th ants in the world. Example 2. A certain social media company processes about 990 billion likes per year. If the company has approximately 8.9 times 10 to the 8th users of social media, about how many likes per year is each user responsible for per year? Well, what we're looking for here is a unit rate. And we find the unit rate by dividing the number of likes by the number of users. The number of likes was 990 billion. So first we'll go ahead and write that as an, a number in standard notation. And we are going to be dividing that by 8.9 times 10 to the 8th. We're working with scientific notation, so we will change 990 billion to scientific notation and then divide. In scientific notation, move your decimal so that it's after the leading digit. That will be 9.9 .9 times 10 to the. Then to determine your exponent, how many places did you move your decimal? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So our exponent is 11. Then we'll divide that by 8.9 times 10 to the 8th. You learned in previous lessons that you can go ahead and do the division with the decimal portion, 9.9 .9 divided by 8.9, and that gives you 1.1 repeating. And this is asking about how many, so we'll, we're going to round that. So we'll use approximately 1.1. Then, to divide your base tens, we've got the quotient of powers rule that says that you subtract your exponents. 
So we have 1.1 times 10 to the third power. Now we can either leave this in scientific notation or we can change it to standard notation. Since it has a small exponent, we will change it to standard notation. 10 to the third is equal to 1,000. So we're multiplying 1.1 times 1,000. And that gives us 1,100. Each user is responsible for about 1.1 times 10 to the third, or 1,100 likes per year. Exercise 1. The speed of light is 300 million meters per second. The sun is approximately 1.5 times 10 to the 11th meters from Earth. How many seconds does it take for the sunlight to reach the Earth? In order to solve this problem, we would need to divide the total distance by the meters per second. Pause the video, complete the exercise, and then resume the video when you're ready. It takes 500 seconds for sunlight to reach the Earth. Exercise 2. The mass of the moon is about 7.3 times 10 to the 22 kilograms. It would take approximately 26 million moons to equal the mass of the sun. Determine the mass of the sun. In order to solve this problem, we would multiply the number of moons that it would take by the mass of the moon. So we would multiply those numbers together. Pause the video and solve the problem. Resume the video when you're ready. Example 3. In 2010, Americans generated 2.5 times 10 to the 8th tons of garbage. There are about 2,000 landfills in the United States. Assuming that each landfill is the same size and the trash is divided equally among them, determine how many tons of garbage were sent to each landfill in 2010. In order to solve this problem, we will divide the total weight of the garbage by the number of landfills. Pause the video and complete ex example three. Resume the video when you're ready. So we have 1.25 times 10 to the fifth tons of garbage. You could also answer this question in standard notation by completing the scientific notation. So if we wanted to multiply this, we would get 1.25 10 to the fifth is going to increase the size of the number. So we're going to multiply that 10 or 5 place values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you can just go ahead and fill in the zeros. And then you want to go back and put in commas so that you're reading the number accurately. And we have 125,000 tons of garbage in 2010. The mass of the Earth is 5.9 times 10 to the 24th kilogram. The mass of Pluto is 13, yes, it's a long number. Compared to Pluto, how much greater is Earth's mass than Pluto's mass? So the question is asking how much greater. In order to determine how much greater, you need to find the difference between Earth's mass and Pluto's mass. And the difference would be subtraction. Solve the problem and then resume the video. To solve this problem, we start with the Earth's mass, which is 5.9 times 10 to the 24th, and we subtract the mass of Pluto. Write the mass of Pluto in scientific notation. Move the decimal after the leading digit so that it's 1.3. To determine your exponent, count your place value that you move your decimal. That's 22 places. Now we can subtract our problem. So we have both of them in scientific notation. The next thing to check is the order of magnitude. It must match when subtracting. So we want to change 10 to the 24th power so that it matches the other magnitude to the 22nd power. 
So we rewrite 5.9 times 10 to the 24th as times 10 to the 22nd times 10 squared, because those add up to 24. To preserve 10 to the 22nd, we multiply 10 squared times 5.9 and get 590. Now we have two numbers in exponential notation that have the same order of magnitude, so we can subtract. Using the any order, any grouping, we can rewrite, or rather using the distributive property, we can rewrite this as 590 minus 1.3 times a power 10 to the power of 22. When we do the subtraction, we get 5.887 times 10 to the 22nd. We want to answer that in scientific notation. So we rewrite 5.588.7 times 10 to the 22nd. This portion gets written in scientific notation first. Put your decimal after the leading digit. That gives us 5.887 times 10 to the second power because we move our decimal two places. Then multiply that times 10 to the 22nd power. This is the product of powers rule that says that you add your exponents. And then this is our number in scientific notation. So the mass of the Earth is 5.887 times 10 to the 24th kilograms greater than the mass of Pluto. We're going to skip exercise 4 and go on to the lesson summary. In this lesson, you have learned to multiply and divide numbers in scientific notation. Remember, they must be in the same form meaning they must both be in scientific notation or they must both be in standard form. To add and subtract numbers in scientific notation, remember they have to have the same power and the same magnitude. To multiply numbers in exponential form, remember to add the exponents. This is the first law of exponents, also called the product of powers rule. To divide numbers in exponential form, you subtract the exponents. This is the second law of exponents, also known as the quotient of powers rule.